Hello and welcome everyone. In this short video, we will learn about join types. Let me share a quick definition. It is used to combine records from two or more tables based on a related column between them. A lot of people even call this as VLOOKUP on steroids and I will explain to you in subsequent minutes why. Now why am I discussing join types? Because you will find this useful in any of the visualization and ETL applications. Be it 9, Alteryx, Power BI or Tableau, even SQL. So let us understand what are these 6 join types and how can they be useful to you. First, to illustrate the example, I'll take two tables. Table A, which will have four names, and you will notice there are two people who share the same ID code. Next, table B, these four people may have been shortlisted by the companies for interview. The common thing between them is the ID code. Now, I would explain to you what will be the resulting table if we use any of the six join types. I'll start with left outer. By definition, it says all from first, that are matching from the second table, which means all those IDs which are present in table A must be present in the final table. Take a look. You have ID code 1 who has been invited by IBM and you'll see the result here. Fine. You'll see ID code number 3, Gilbert Arts, who has unfortunately not been invited by any of the interviewing companies. You will see the names there with a question mark. However, when you see the ID being repeated twice, and similarly, there are two companies which has shortlisted ID number two. You will notice they are using Cartesian product to show all the four combinations. And that's how join handles duplicate. If this were VLOOKUP, it would only take the first value and not even look into Rio Tinto. So pause the video for a few seconds and take a look at the output. This is left out a join. Next. I move on to write out a join. Before I show you the table, can you quickly pause the video and guess the resulting table? I'll give you hints. Write outer means all those IDs which are present in table B must be present in the final table. So if I show you the table, you'll notice ID 1, the 2 is repeating 4 times as it should be and 4 is repeating 1 time. However, there is no ID 4 in the table A and therefore you'll see blanks or question mark in the final table. Next, we move to full outer join. As the circle formation suggests, all the values should be taken, which means I'll have ID number 1, 2, 3, as well as 4. Next, inner join. The common ID between the two tables is ID number 1 and ID number 2, and therefore, this is the resulting table that you would see. Inner join means only matching or common rows. Next, Left ante, it means only those rows which are only part of table A. In our case, it is going to be ID number 3. Let us see the table. There you go. Similarly, right ante join means those IDs which are only part of table B. Aha, there you go. Nestle is the only entry appearing in the final table. Of course, there are other types of joins such as full ante join or outer ante, but we will not be discussing that in this video. So let's move to a quick recap. Let me allow you to guess by looking at the two circles what join types would it be relating to. I'll give you three seconds. Yes, this is inner join. Next. Correct. Right outer. Next. I know this is easy. This is full outer. Next. This is the most popular of all the joins. Yes. This is left outer join. Next, left ante and next, right ante. So if you are going to learn SQL or Alteryx or Nime or Power BI or Tableau or any of such recent data analytics applications, you will require the knowledge of join types. In fact, in Nime, you have only four join types that are available, left outer, right outer, full outer and inner join. So do not be surprised when you do not find the remaining two in nine. Next, if you're using Alteryx, there are only three available to you. Inner, left ante and right ante. 
The remaining three you will have to synthetically prepare using two tools in all tricks. Those are join and union. Next, if you are using Power BI, then you'll find all the six join types available to you. In Power BI, you can find all these six join types in merge queries section of Power Query. So next, just to recap what we have learned, join types are used to combine records from two or more tables based on one common ID. In several cases, it can be more than one column. And why do we call this VLOOKUP on steroids? One, because it has a speed which can work with voluminous data. If you have worked with Excel's VLOOKUP, especially on more than one or five lakh records and it tends to hang up, that's what I'm referring to. Next, one VLOOKUP can give one column's answer, but join types can match records based on that common primary or composite key and give you multiple columns answer. Next, we saw in our examples, if there are duplicate IDs, how is it handled? Next, you have six variations. Some software applications may have four or three. However, these variations are very powerful when you want to prepare some special reports. So hope you understood the basic theory of join types. We'll see the practical application and examples in the upcoming videos.